Okay. <laughs> I carved into this turkey. It is so delicious. When you take it out, oh my goodness, you can carve it and put it on the table and, and that's traditional. Or you could do the Norman, wa uh, Norman way of just carving it on the table, which we used to do when we were growing up with my father and we had a tradition where we sat the table we sat the turkey on the table and the person was basically privileged to do the first carving and I got to do it uh, a couple times and and it felt really nice it was something special that my um, my father did at his table and it was very traditional and it was beautiful. It was a beautiful way to celebrate Thanksgiving within the family. So um, my father did it for years and then he basically um, allowed, uh, he would pick and choose uh, who would be the one to do it the following year. And so I was privileged to do that. And of course I wanted to carve it. So. <laughs> So I was able to do that. Um, so, anyways, when you take before you take it out. So what I did, um, I um, went ahead and added some more um, wine and some more butter. I poured, I doused it with some more wine because I wanted to kill that beer flavor, and um, I, I doused it with some wine, and then I I rubbed it with some butter, some more butter. And then I stuck it back in the oven, and right when it was halfway, um, that halfway point for another hour to 45 minutes. And then I had the um, the thermometer, um, which is inside the turkey, and it pops out. So I was able to register it by the thermometer. But you know, if you have a thermometer. Just go ahead and just check the um, the breast for 160, 65, um, and then the um, thighs should uh, or the legs should be 175, because the legs do cook uh, a little bit faster than um, than the the breast. So I mean, it came out really nice. Look at that color. Uh, what I and then after. I doused it with the wine and butter. I added the last bit of the uh, liquid glaze that I had um, reserved on the side, and all the the juices have fallen to the to the bottom there. Let me show you. So the, all the juices. Do not throw these juices away. They are like um, gold. <laughs> so delicious and um, you just drain it and then you can make a nice gravy I'm thinking cremini mushrooms sauteed cremini mushrooms and you do like a bechamel which is equal parts of um, well I don't think you really need to um, use a bechamel because there's plenty of fat in the gravy itself but if you heat up uh, if you look at one of my my uh, videos I show you how to heat up the flour in the saucepan and then you add the liquid to it and then you can add your your sauteed mushrooms a little bit of um, add a little bit of the uh, capers and then add a little bit more wine mmm and just let it simmer add your salt and pepper to taste because all the flavors are in this liquid that came from the turkey and then you could serve that on the side yes with some cranberry sauce and some sweet potatoes or some candied yams and some green salad like a kale salad and um, I'll probably show you how to do that the kale salad and you're gonna love that that's really good um, and um, and then you just carve it um, however you want to if you want to carve it you know and set it on the table that's fine but if you really want to make it special 
put the whole turkey in the middle of the table and then carve it. If you didn't do it this year, you have another year to do it and I think it'll be nice. Um, I'm going to try it. I've already been, I've been trying this. It's so delicious. So, um, it's juicy. <laughs> the turkey, the turkey meat is quite juicy. You get dip it in. Oh, come on. Dip it in that juice, all that liquid. And, uh, yeah, it's so delicious. And then, and then try it. And then, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I have a whole turkey here. I can't wait to carve it. Don't discard your bones. You can make a beautiful stock. You can. And um, with the <clears throat> remnants of the vegetables after you drain it to use it as a sauce. Ah, yeah. And then you have all that, those, um, let me cut this. You have all those um, vegetables inside the turkey that will um, contribute to that stock you're going to make. So all these veggies that you cooked it with, okay? And um, so that's inside the turkey. And when you make your stock, it's so easy. I have a video which shows you how to make the stock. And and you'll enjoy your stock. You can make it for soup. You could transfer some of this and make some nice recipes like a, a turkey pot pie. Or you can make a turkey a soup which is perfect for those cold winter days. And, or you can just freeze it. Sometimes I just freeze it. Or you can make tamales out of it. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching and happy holidays. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.